Solar has been, over the last 10 years, uh, embarking on a very ambitious endeavor, which is to build a full stack solution for antibody drug discovery and development. Uh, to be able to go from that idea or that basic biological insight and to power that through at world-class speed and quality and capabilities uh, right to the point of testing it in humans. At the time there was a group of five of us uh, with an idea and the idea was that if we combine the expertise that we had developed in the lab we could make a great tool for the discovery of molecular antibodies and solve important problems um, in the life sciences industry. What we were able to bring, what Upsella was able to bring under Carl's leadership to, to the, uh, really to the field, um, was the ability to do this faster and more deeply. And it's, it's really that, that diversity of antibodies that you identify using this technology that gives us a huge advantage. So we do it really fast, but we also get so many options when it, when it comes to selecting those antibodies. You know, when we started Epcelera back in 2012, we started it based on a microfluidic technology that allowed for the very rapid searching of natural immune systems using single cell assays to find those immune cells that make antibodies that are suitable uh, for the treatment or um, prevention of disease. And over the past nine years, we've built a full suite of technologies or a technology stack that allows us to source, to search, to analyze, and to decode natural immune systems to accelerate the path from an idea to an antibody that has the properties to make it suitable for therapeutic development. To date, we've been working on 138 different therapeutic programs with 33 partners, and we're working with pharma companies, biotech companies, and across a wide range of indications with the ultimate goal of going from an idea to bringing therapy that can help patients faster. When the pandemic started, like everyone, we found ourselves having to deal with the constraints of social distancing uh, and having to deal with restrictions of the pandemic, both at home and at work. But what was really amazing about that experience was the sense of community and just everybody pitching in um, and just having, looking around and, and knowing that, you know, something awful is happening in the world, but we're working here together and, and what we're working on could really make a difference and help so many people around the world. I think that that effort has really galvanized our team uh, and am proud of the way that people pull together under difficult circumstances to deliver uh, not just a therapeutic, but a therapeutic at world-class speed. And when I look back, uh, over the last 18 months and the work that Epsilon has done, uh, the work of all the hundreds of men and women that have put their time and effort into responding to the pandemic, uh, I am fiercely proud of what we have accomplished. Uh, we were able to work uh, with Eli Lilly and bring a therapeutic antibody into clinical testing at world record speed, an antibody that was granted emergency use authorization in the U.S. and Canada, and that in the U.S. has now helped over 600,000 people. We identified that you know, we had this discovery engine in place, we had this technology in place, we could find therapeutic antibodies. Um, what we needed was someone that would, that would help us uh, move this into the clinic and, and, and do the clinical testing. Um, and you know, Carl was instrumental, uh, really leading the charge with finding the right partner. And we did that, uh, I think, and Eli Lilly couldn't have been a better partner. Over the past 18 months, uh, there's been such rapid growth and so much success at Upsolera, it's easy to think that the entire road has been uh, smooth, but of course that's not the case. Uh, in fact, you know, Upsolera's success over the last 18 months uh, builds on nine years of hard work. 2020 was a, was a breakout year for Upsolera. Uh, we started the year completing our Series B financing uh, of 105 million, uh, that was in March of 2020. And the really amazing part about that was it was the leaders of both biotech and tech investing in Abcelera. The NASDAQ IPO was, was really fantastic to watch, uh, you know, having arrived at the company in early 2020 um, and then uh, you know, seeing the IPO uh, occur at the end of that year. Um, you know, really watching the team come together, putting all the pieces together that needed to, to be able to achieve that was, was absolutely remarkable. And of course, the impact, I think, um, you know, was heard around the world. You know, Epsilon has been uh, blessed to have some terrific directors. Uh, recently, uh, Peter Thiel joined the board. I believe that you know, he was a great choice for several reasons. One, you know, Peter is uh, famous for liking the ideas that many people don't like early on and recognizing that going in a different direction is uh, the path through which you can find new value. You know, we are at a remarkable point in history in biotechnology as a sector. 
Um, I think that people do not really appreciate just what trajectory we're on. And I like to say that, you know, this is analogous to where the semiconductor industry was back in the 1950s. And we're very happy, we've got the, we've got the transistor, we're making progress, but we cannot imagine what the next 10, 20, 30 years are going to bring. Because of what Carl has done, we now have a home for all these people coming out of UBC and SFU and, and just locally to really flourish and make a meaningful impact in the biotech sector. I think it's critical that Canada step forward and play its part and participate in that growth. And we are positioned here in British Columbia and in Canada uh, to be part of that and to be at the cutting edge. And it's important that we make the right decisions, that we make decisions that are looking long-term and put in place the policies that allow businesses here to thrive and to grow. What Carl has really done, and where many companies still try and strive, Canadian companies, is have the resilience, the vision, the leadership capability to not only come up with that great technology, but also build a company and have that company succeed on a global scale. In the early days, there was always a question, I think, of who was going to lead Abcelera. And I think uh, about 2014, maybe 2015, I think it dawned on Carl that the right person and the only person to lead this company was him. And I think everyone's glad that he made that choice. I think this is Carl's special power, is to bring people together to achieve things that are close to the impossible, but he knows that we can get there uh, if we all work together and we push the boundaries. When you set out to build a company, a company that can last and really make a difference in scale, uh, you can get the technology right, you can get the business right. If you don't get the people right, you really got nothing. The key to Upsala's success has been our ability to attract bright, talented, energetic people that want to work at the interface of disciplines and want their days to be spent doing something that really breaks new ground and helps to make drug development better. We've been blessed in Vancouver to have a wonderful pool of talent. And as we've scaled, we found that we're now attracting people globally from other centers who see Upsellera as truly a special company to come work at.